need to start with the eyes. First of all, I will gonna use jumbo pencil in milk and I'm gonna place that all over my eyelid. This is going to be the base for the bright eyeshadows, also the glitters which I'm gonna use later. I don't want to put too much of this because if you put too much it's kind of be creasy but gives very very good white finish on the eyes to kind of stick the all eyeshadow which I'm gonna use later. Okay, first I'm gonna start with the base eyeshadow color that is, I'm gonna use Coastal Sands and this is the bright, very, very beautiful pinkish eyeshadow and I'm gonna take something like crease or angle brush this is medium angle shading brush E70 by Sigma and I'm gonna place that right here and kind of put into the crease and just a little bit blend because I already apply uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil this is going to be super bright and very beautiful eyeshadow color and I'm gonna make it like crease and of course blend. This eyeshadow brush is very beautiful especially if you want to blend a little bit. Now I'm gonna use Sigma E25 and because I already applied the base eyeshadow I'm gonna go with just a little bit darker eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm gonna create this one. Not this very hot pink, this one. And I'm gonna put just into the crease. This next eyeshadow is Star Violet by Mag, which is very, very beautiful, like burgundy violet color. And that eyeshadow I'm gonna put just right here in my crease. It's not necessary to be super pigmented because everything kids need to be blended next is beauty market which is black with kind of purplish uh, pinkish reflex inside and I'm gonna put just a little bit into the corner and after that blend everything together to be kind of blended to do not have like harsh lines between Next eyeshadow is Art Deco number 512, which is very, very beautiful matte white eyeshadow. I get this because my gesso by MAC is kind of spirit and I don't have it and I need to get because that is my favorite white eyeshadow. This is not that great, it's not very, very beautiful pigmented, but it's kind of okay. Put a little bit on my brow bone, a little bit blend with the pink to do not have harsh lines between. You see, it's not that pigmented, our shadow is kind of okay, I think. And right now I'm gonna start with the fun parts. I'm gonna use this three-dimensional star dots. This is kind of multi. <clears throat> Sorry about the losing my voice. <coughs> and this, it's kind of different sparkles inside, and I'm gonna place that all over right here. But before applying that, I'm gonna put my. base you can use any base you want ok 
Okay. And go with the brush. I'm going to pick up the glitters and press it everywhere. I love this. Also, Mac have similar of this, like 3 death glitters. I already apply a NYX Jama pencil, like my line, under my eyes, and I'm gonna use this hot pink, full of pink color. This is by Flomar, but definitely you can find similar like this. This is the very, very beautiful hot pink eyeshadow. And I'm gonna just press it where it's the jumbo pencil. Next step is I'm gonna apply black eyeliner on top and I'm come back. This is the down look. By the way, I get inspired by Nikki Tutorials with this uh, neon line and I was amazed when I saw that video with the neon colors and I say, oh my god, I need to try something else but with that neon line. This is that. Uh, on my face, I already put uh, my favorite bronzer, this one, by Seventeen, uh, Manhattan uh, Highlight Powder, which is this, Dainty Blush, which I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more, and Vanilla Pigment, like my highlight I already apply a brownish nude lip liner and fill inside with this kind of nudish pink, very bright color. And I'm gonna use Lip Tar, also it's a Lip Tar in Femme. I'm gonna apply that all over the lips. This is gorgeous color, I so love it. It's so perfect nudish pink Barbie color. On top of that, I apply this MAC Luster Glass Fluster Rose. And I love this combination because it makes my lips so, so big and volumized and plump. And I really, really love it. And this is my done tutorial. I hope you like it. If you like it, thumbs up, comments, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.